Hello, welcome, thank you for joining me. So this is video number 10 in our series uh, how to create a uh, Revit image, a uh, photo rendering of an image. And this one's going to be of a camera view inside of our house. What I'd like to show you in this film is how to use the paint tool. The paint tool is uh, available on our Modify Toolbar. And before we do that, we're going to apply a, a texture to our paint, a texture and color to our paint. And one thing to keep in mind about the paint tool is not only is it uh, apply a non-dimensional surface onto something, it's not just a color to it, but it actually uh, contains uh, other elements to it also, such as a texture and maybe a photo in the background that might enhance uh, the photo real capabilities of a, of a rendering. So you're not just limited to just paint, but you might be able to apply textures to it like asphalt or you know, maybe carpet or some other elements to your walls, which you know, may not be totally appropriate here unless it's like wallpaper. But we're going to be sticking pretty much with paint and paint colors for this one. So you notice that if we close out our render toolbar that it actually reverts back to a visual style that uh, is the default setting for this view. I'm going to go ahead and choose realistic so we can see what we're painting. And the way we start this is you want to go to your manage tab, go to your materials button. And what you want to do is you want to look for materials, go to your materials tab up here and scroll down to paint. So there's two, I have two choices here, paints and paints and coatings. As far as I can tell, the only difference between the two is one is white and one is gray. So let's go ahead and use the, the gray one. Let's go to the paint. And we're going to select that. And what you want to do is go to the duplicate button down here. Very similar to when we were editing families. You want to duplicate that, uh, you know, that, that uh, material. And you want to call it a different name. So instead of paint two, we're going to call that paint. Maybe make our walls orange. And you can choose a wall color that you see is appropriate. Two different tabs up here. We have a graphics tab as an appearance tab. Graphics tab allows uh, that particular wall color to come out when you're in a view, like a realistic view or a shaded view. Um, and so let's go ahead and choose the appropriate color. And let's kind of start with an orange color and maybe make a modification to it. So you know that the orange color is halfway between the red band over here and yellow over here. Not quite halfway. It's kind of uh, favoring the red portion of it. But let's do this. Let's... um. Let's adjust that a little bit. You can choose anywhere in this palette and it gives you a preview of what that color is down here in the lower left hand corner. If you want to adjust it even further you can go over here to the red, green, uh, blue settings and change the numbers here. And I believe if you uh, made all the numbers zero it would, you would come up with a very dark color. In fact black, that would define black. And uh, the high number is 255. You can go from zero to 255, 256 different colors times 256 times 256, I think it comes out to over 16 million different color combinations. Um, if you choose all, uh, all 255, it's going to be a white color. So, let's do this. It's, uh, that that kind of looks like a pretty good color. And if you like, you can make the color darker or lighter by taking this toggle and moving that up or down. you notice that uh, the color preview down here is going to change with the two. Let's make it kind of a burnt orange. And let's add that to our custom colors. You notice it put it up here in the upper left hand corner of that. That allows us to select it, not only in this view, but allows us to select it when we go to Appearance, the tab over here, which allows us to apply that color to a photo real rendering. Click on that color, click on this custom color, and go to OK. So now we have that color in, uh, in both the graphic view and our uh, rendering view when we get there. Go to OK. Next step is go to the Modify tab. And if you look over here in our geometry portion of our modify tab and ribbon, or in the geometry uh, panel, the paint tool is there. Paint tool gives you a dialog box. And when we go in that dialog box, and as I mentioned before, we can apply all sorts of different colors and textures to a wall. What we really want to do is just limit our choices to just paint. So let's go to paint. The choices of the paints that we've created. We have our paint orange color up here. We have legs that are associated with the family and we go to our tables over here. We could use that too. And a parking stripe, which is already embedded in here, plus some other paint choices up here, which are mostly gray. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and do our paint orange. And this dialog box has to be active in order to activate the paint tool. So let's move from that dialog box over to our wall and make sure that we are selecting that wall. So we're going to select the, the wall over here, and it turns out orange. Let's do parking stripe for the back one. Make sure you're selecting that wall and not other elements. It looks like we chose another element, so whatever was in the background got painted yellow too. And then legs, we're going to choose for the kitchen wall, you know, the green color for the legs. Three wall colors. All done with that, so we're going to say we're done here. And then we're going to render this. 
So let's go to our go to our view tab, to our render button, and while this is rendering, I'm going to cut this film off, and we'll come back when uh, when we're all done rendering. I'm going to keep all the settings that we had before, and then we'll go from there. So we'll see you in the next film.